Good morning, it's the last day of February. Time to do a roundup of what I listened to in February. Um, very good month for metal and rock music, a lot of decent albums, uh, a lot of good albums. Uh, I'm gonna quickly list uh, albums I rated, uh, seven out of 10 and upwards. Um, the seven out of 10s I'll go through very quickly just the name, title, and um, just a quick word. Uh, first one, Attica, Metal Legends, uh, classic true heavy metal band uh, with a return, solid album. Angelus Apatrida, uh, self-titled album, Spanish thrash metal, 7 out of 10, solid album. Durbin, The Beast Awakens, 7 out of 10, solid album, not bad. Michael Schenker Group, Immortal, 7 out of 10. I never got to listen to this uh, in late January. I think it was released, so it's gone into this month's list. Uh, 7 out of 10 again, decent. Pounder, Breaking the World. Um, uh, one of these new retrad bands, traditional uh, throwback bands. Uh, 7 out of 10, again, it's okay, it's solid. Wizard, Metal in My Mind, German, heavy power metal, like Man of War, 7 out of 10. It's, uh, you know, just regular heavy metal, good stuff. Okay, the first album that reaches 7.5 out of 10 is Epica and the album Omega. Yeah, it's typical Epica album. Um, it's a good album. Simone sounds very good. Uh, the backing band is good. It's uh, melodic, epic, progressive, symphonic, all, all the things that Epica are known for. Next is an unknown band called Kotok and the album is called Uroshima. Um, it's a melodic thrash metal band, somewhere a mix between Annihilator and Megadeth. Um, pretty solid album, 7.5 out of 10 from me. Uh, Unknown band, but I really quite enjoyed that album. Next is Soen and Imperial. Uh, I think it was released late January again, but I never got the chance to listen to it before I did my January list. So it goes in the February uh, uh, list. Uh, very good album. 7.5 out of 10 from me. Dark, melodic heavy moody it's a it's a good album it's a good listen a bit morose but it's a good listen it's, it's an enjoyable epic listen next album is the scalar process coagulative matter it's a technical death metal band uh, very well produced very fast very brutal very technical it's got hints of black metal, which I don't like. It's got sort of black metal blasting, droney sections, if you like, which are not my cup of tea, but the technical riffing is just, you know, it's just a, you know, it sends your head in a spin. It's just like a roller coaster of crazy, random riffs. <laughs> Pretty cool. 7.5 out of 10 for the scalar process and coagulative matter next album is toddler tour rejoice in the suffering it's the queensryche man's uh solo album much heavier than queensryche somewhere like between a mix between judas priest and nevermore this is getting quite a lot of praise in, in the in the metal community uh i think it's a good album i rated it 7.5 out of 10 it sort of just lacks a little bit in the memorability uh, stakes. It's not like that immediate like a Judas Priest album would be. It's good though. Uh, Todd, he sings very well. The production is awesome. It's a rock solid heavy metal album. I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy it if you just like standard heavy metal. Next album is uh, Walk the Walk, self-titled. 7.5 out of 10 for this album. This is a new band. I don't know a lot about them. They basically take what 
Def Leppard did in the 80s and beef it up a little bit. Lots of gang vocals, heavy riffs, uh, decent vocals. Not the best singer in the world, but he's he's an okay singer. He's a, he's a good singer. But the album is enjoyable on the whole and gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. Okay, moving on to the 8 out of 10s. Uh, the first one is Evergrey, Escape of the Phoenix, uh, just released a few days ago now. Uh, it's a rock solid Evergrey album. It's it's got all the Evergrey traits. Um, it's melodic. Tom England, he sounds really awesome. The band is heavy, very moody, very emotional, very melodic. Um, it's got some some slight goth elements as well this time. A few genty riffs, a few modern riffs. Not not everything is to my taste, but mostly I love Ever Grateful for their emotion packed songs, and this one is definitely uh, full of those. I mean, some very cool tunes. Uh, Eternal Nocturnal is my favourite song. Uh, the, the duet with uh, James Labrie is also very good. It's very moody sort of very gothic that tune uh it's it's a rock solid evergrey album i mean if you like evergrey you're not gonna go wrong with uh escape of the phoenix okay next album is ominous ruin amidst voices that echo in stone uh it's a brutal fast technical death metal album uh not really any hints of black metal thankfully which i uh, you know drags things down for me this is a rock solid you know very aggressive very technical a vast array of crazy random riffs uh, awesome stuff 8 out of 10 from me ominous ruin check it out if you like your death metal to be completely over the top mental crazy okay next album is Paranorm and Empyrean. They're a Swedish technical thrash band. Um, very cool riffs again. Very interesting riffs. Uh, somewhere along the lines of some kind of uh, uh, death riffs. Death, the band uh, with Chuck Schuldiner, of course. Um, very cool band. What can I say? The vocals are not the best. They're sort of like a raspy, hissing, almost death metal, but sort of in between thrashy and death but not really like uh, most thrash bands um, but anyway i mean it's just a minor point they're not really making me like the music any less um, i still gave the album an easy 8 out of 10 so definitely check out paranorm and empyrean okay next album is another 8 out of 10 album it's Sirenia, Riddles, Ruins and Revelations. Sirenia is a typical European uh, symphonic power metal band with a female vocalist. She's a very good singer. The band is really crunchy and heavy. Uh, still got the epic melodies. I prefer this to Epica's album, actually. I think this is a really cool album. Uh, I really enjoyed this um, for this style. Okay, next album is Joe Hoekstra's 13 Running Games. Um, this is an awesome album. I rate this 8.5 out of 10. Uh, very cool album, very melodic, very great punchy guitar sound. Uh, Russell Allen on vocals, he does a great job, very melodic, not, not trying to over sing like he would say in Symphony X or some of his other bands. This is just a great classic melodic heavy metal slash hard rock album um very enjoyable good songs uh you know the standard is high all the way it's a very enjoyable album okay moving on art of illusion x marks the spot this was released very late in january not enough time to uh uh, make the January list, uh, but I love this album. This is the album which is basically a collab collaboration between uh, Lars Safsund from Work of Art and uh, the guy from Grand Illusion. Uh, they're all Swedes, obviously, hence the name Art of Illusion. Uh, very cool album, very dramatic AOR. It's sort of slightly different than uh, 
work of art. It's got obviously Lars's amazing vocals on it, but it's also got this sort of like the grand bit that Grand Illusion gives. Uh, it's got some Queen influences. It's got some Toto influences. I just love this album. It's got quite a lot of drama. It's a, it's a whole listening experience. It's very melodic, very am amazingly produced. Um, very cool album. Nine out of ten for me. Two albums to mention. Uh, next one is a big surprise. It's Everdawn and Cleopatra. Everdawn is a an American symphonic power metal band fronted by a Russian girl, I believe. Well, she's got a Russian sounding name. Uh, Alina Gavrilova, I think her name is. Um, uh, and Mike Lapon from Symphony X actually plays bass in this band, which is uh, pretty cool. But this band used to be called Midnight Eternal. They changed their name to Everdawn. Uh, and this is a fantastic album. This is... This is a perfect album if you like uh, Euro symphonic power metal fronted by a operatic female vocalist. Uh, very much in in the in the vein of uh, old Nightwish, you know the the Taria era of Nightwish. Uh, very similar in feel, the vocals, the melodies, just epic melodic music. The songs I like most are the title track Cleopatra. My favourite complete track is Stranded in Bangalore. I love that track. That is just an awesome song. Um, the whole album is fantastically produced. It's very melodic. It's just a joy to listen to from start to finish. But my album of the month for February is none other than The Mighty Inglorious and the album We Will Ride. Uh, I was been looking forward to this since I heard that uh, Nathan James, the singer, was working on this album with uh, basically a whole new band, mostly a whole new band. I think he just kept the drummer and changed all the other members. Uh, but Nathan, he's got an amazing voice, very soulful, very melodic, uh, very em emotive. Like he, he's when he sings, you just you feel the emotion straight away. Uh, the songs are very catchy, they're heavy, they're heavy on the groove, great solos as well from the new guitarist, uh, very cool indeed. The songs are just awesome, there's hardly a filler in sight, I wouldn't say, I, you know, I couldn't even tell you one filler on the album or one song, maybe, yeah, maybe there's a one or two that I might like slightly less, but the standard is high pretty much all the way, I mean... The songs I like most are uh, Messiah, that's an awesome song. Medusa is awesome again. Um, I don't know, I just love them all really. Uh, my favourite song is uh, He Will Ride. I love that song, it's an upbeat, it's quite a standout song because it's sort of got a fast pace, a fast beat, nice urgent riffs, uh, very cool. Cruel Intentions is another track which I absolutely love. Um, so this is an awesome album. I mean, if you like classic, edgy, heavy, melodic, hard rock, you're going to love Inglorious. It's just an awesome album. Okay, that was my album of the month. It got 9.25 out of 10. It just rised a smidgen above the other two at 9. Uh, Everdawn, which was at 9 out of 10, and Art of Illusion at 9 out of 10. I had it as a triple way dead heat, but then I thought I had to give it to Inglorious because Nathan James is just an amazing singer. Nathan, you knocked it out of the park, bro. You did that indeed. So there you have it. That was the February roundup. The stuff I've got coming up in March, uh, got Warrior Path, The Mad King. Looking forward to that. That's... Uh, Daniel Hyman on vocals, X of Lost Horizon, I uh, love that guy. Um, what else? Sunstorm, Afterlife, Ronnie Romero, taking over from um, Joe Lynn Turner. So let's see how that turns out. Uh, Magnus Carlsen's uh, Heart Healer, that's going to be good. Secret Sphere's new album, Ronnie Atkins' solo album. Uh, Auden Ogan, uh, I love Auden Ogan, they're epic. German power metal. Shes Kane, the uh this new uh lady British singer doing eighties uh, throwback melodic rock. 
uh, Metalite uh, Virtual World uh, should be good. And my number one hope for March is Primitai Violence of the Skies. I uh, love Primitai, awesome, awesome. Uh, UK based classic power metal, heavy metal band. Uh, awesome stuff. Okay, that was February. Okay, stay tuned.